Hey, it's Peter Greg, Miami, Florida. I'm in Peter's kitchen. Welcome, and today we're going to make a Greek, a Greeky tziziki. You can make it, yes, even though you've never cooked Greek before. I'm. If you can work a spoon, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I teach you. I teach you how to make a tziziki sauce. A tzatziki sauce is sour cream and cucumber with a little bit of olive oil, maybe some oregano, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, boom! We have tzatziki. Stay tuned. Don't you leave. You stay here with me. I teach you how to make a tzatziki sauce. No for the yogurt, because too many carbohydrates. I'm on low carbs. Okay, so the sour cream's got lower and it actually tastes better. So just stay tuned and something warm, human, and wonderful is going to happen. I promise. Sit back. Relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to make a Greek dish today. Uh, it's called tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki. You have to uh, say it with a little bit of an accent, like you were Greek. Because the tzatziki sauce is uh, the cucumber and the sour cream, which we smash and make it together. Alright, so tzatziki sauce uh, normally is made with yogurt, but I don't. So you're, you're actually following a new recipe. This is something that my mom used to make all the time, and I whip up all the time. So normally you could use yogurt, but I use sour cream. I don't know what brand I use. I don't, I, I just pick out the one that I see that is red, white, and blue. And I like that one. I don't know why, but I like that one. Because I'm a Greeky. Wanted to make sure the fire is off. All right, so we used to make this all the time. This recipe goes back to when I'm a child. This is a staple. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get an English cucumber. It's bigger. It looks like, it looks like that. <laughs> okay. It looks like that. And then you're going to peel it, which I already did. And we're going to shred it. I've got a second camera hidden up in the corner so that you can see what I'm doing. And if I'm smart enough, I will move it all over enough so that you could see what I'm doing. Oh, it's all the way out there. It really needs to be back a little bit further. All right, so now I'm down to the end. I got everything out. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Okay, now there's a lot of water in here and you don't want to mix the sour cream with that water. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the water out. So you're going to take two teaspoons of salt and I use pink Himalayan salt because I want to be cool. <laughs> That's what I was told to use. So two big heaping teaspoons. If you're one of those guys that does perfect measurements, two heaping teaspoons of salt because that's going to come out. It's going to get the water and extract the water out. And then you're going to get, there's my tablespoon. Okay, you're going to get aged white wine vinegar. Can you see it? There we go. Aged white wine vinegar. It's different from red wine vinegar and it's different from apple cider vinegar and it's different from just white vinegar. So we're going to get two nice big one, two, three. I'm going to put three tablespoons in there. Let's put this back out here. And then I'm going to mix that up so the salt and the vinegar gets around. And then technically I'm going to let that set for 10 minutes. So what I normally do is, I that's why I hesitated when I said 10 minutes because I never really timed it before. So what I do is I get that I pat it down and I set it aside. And that's it. Now I get another clean bowl. I have a, a little uh, 
Oh, I put the cap back on the vinegar. <laughs> and I put that over here. Now, we're going to get the sour cream. So I'm going to open my full sour cream. Not the one that's... Mmm. Yep. I usually will take a little taste test. Because I don't want to go through all this and find out I have spo spoiled sour cream. So now I'm going to get the sour cream out and put it in the bowl. It's a very easy thing to do. I would say a child can do it. Liam, can you get the uh, sour cream out of the container and put it in a bowl? I bet you you can. Liam is one of my... Uh, he's my favorite Liam. How's that? Okay, so now I got the sour cream in the bowl. I'm going to save this because you can use this as a storage place. We're normally in the garbage. So I'm going to take this, put it over to the side. All right, so now I'm going to get a tablespoon of garlic powder. Let's make it two tablespoons of garlic powder. Powder, not salt. Not garlic salt. Garlic powder. I tell you, you don't use the garlic salt, the one with the green cap. You use the garlic powder. As a matter of fact, you can squish some regular good old garlic in there. Then two teaspoons of a good quality oregano. And yes, it makes a difference. The taste changes. And then you're going to use um, two teaspoons of ground chopped dill. And you're going to put them in here. In this little bowl you're gonna mix it all up you put the lime in the coconut and you mix it all up that's what they say in the song you put the lime in the coconut and you mix it up okay so now you're gonna put this in and then guess what you're gonna do you're gonna mix this stuff up Mabel I'm mixing up the sour cream so you hold on I'll bring you your tzatziki sauce really really quick so you mix this up until it's nice and mixed. I don't know why I'm using this big thing. Oh, I can fold it. Okay. You just mix it up. Wait a minute. I am not in a rush. You guys in a rush to go somewhere? Just mix it all up, put it in your fridge, and you're done. End of story. <laughs> but we're here together as friends, and we spend some time out on Big Log Holler. If we were in the country. Big Log Holler. You don't want to go to small log hauler. They don't got the good stuff there. You got to go to big log hauler. And then from there, you get on a plane and you go to Greece, where the people are Greeky, Greeky, and Olimas, Milame, Linikak, and Akanometo, Tziziki sauce. Did you know I was Greek? Oh, you did. Oh, I'm going to have to teach you how to make a lamb that'll knock you off your feet with no effort. Okay, that'll be the next video. <laughs> going to make lamb. Okay, but for this one, this sauce goes on the lamb. Wonderful, because when you go to a Greek festival, they have the, uh, uh, the booths where they sell all the different kinds of foods and desserts, like baklava, baklava. You know the baklava? I love it when they say it like that. The baklava, the gyro, the souvlaki. Mmm, it's delicious. Mwah, delicious. Okay, so now that's mixed up. So we've had enough time now that we're going to deal with this guy. All right, so I wasn't smart enough to get my strainer out. So excuse me while I go off the camera, get my strainer. There it is. Don't worry. I got it. Don't get up. Don't get up. I got the strainer. Okay. Now you see how all the liquid came right up to the top? Where is that camera? There it is. You see where all that liquid? We're going to get rid of that now. Okay, the salt kind of like extracted the liquid out. Yeah, you tap it like that. You don't tap it like this. You tap it like that. You tap it like this, you don't know what you're doing. You have to tap like this. Then you know you're a good tapper, okay? Now we take this and we're gonna put it through here, but not here because we make a big mess on the counter. You do this over the sink. So we're gonna go over the sink I'm Greek. I can make fun of me. <laughs> Gonna pour it in here. Look at look at all that water. You can't see it, but I can. 
Wow, this would make a great show. Look at all that water coming out. Let me do it over here so you can see. Okay, because this is fun. This is the fun stuff, right? This is the fun stuff. So now I'm squeezing it into a tennis ball. And see the water coming out? Can you see the water coming out? Can you see the water? She's coming out and dripping. He's dripping into the pan. I already got most of the water out in the sink. So what I'm getting here is a huge amount. So all this water would just make your tzatziki sauce just like yuck. And when I say yuck, I mean yuck. So I'm squeezing, making a tennis ball. Squeezing, letting the water run through the strainer. So you're actually making a cucumber ball. Have you ever made a cucumber ball? Have you ever made a cucumber ball in your life? Well, if you Greek, you did. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of like pull it apart. This is not really necessary. The spoon is going to just mangle this up. You can even use a fork in there. And all this cucumber, we're going to just mix it and mix it and mix it. Okay, now my hands are a little dirty. So I don't like that. Personally, I like clean when I feel stuff on my hands. It makes me like, oh, get that stuff off. You remember those kids that they get something on them and it's got to come right off? And then the other ones that just like to smush it around? Well, I'm the one where it's got to come right off. <laughs> just take the dirt off of me. So I'm going to get a fork out of my magic drawer. I'm going to take the juice and I'm going to pour it out. You could actually pour it into a smoothie if you wanted to. You could, I'm not saying you have to, but you could, you could do that. You can do that. I'm gonna take this. I'm going to get my delicious, delicious sour cream. So the big elephant in this room is, Peter, why didn't you use yogurt? Uh, and the reason I didn't use yogurt is yogurt has got a higher carbohydrate count. And I go off into car carbohydrate um, seasons and I want low carbohydrates. So the cucumber has got carbohydrates uh, and the sauerkraut has, sauerkraut has very little. The sauerkraut has one gram of carbohydrates uh, for a serving. I'd have to look up and see what the serving is. Now I'm going to stir this up and I'm almost done. What I'm going to add to this is two teaspoons of virgin or extra virgin olive oil. Why do I keep losing my spoon? That spoon likes to walk off. Okay, so here's one, two. Oh, what the heck? Let's put three. Put three. Okay, now these are leveled tablespoons. I'm not a professional chef. I just play one on TV, so you don't have to listen to what I say. So now I'm going to stir this all in. Okay, now I don't think the fork is going to be helpful. I was almost going to say something nasty. Where the heck did my tablespoon go? Gee, can't keep track of a stinking tablespoon? Put it on your right, Peter. Okay, so that's better. So now we're mixing in the oil. And what you would do now is you would add salt to taste. So since I make this quite often, I know I need one to two teaspoons of salt. And I use pink Himalayan salt because that's real salt. That stuff you get in the blue bottle, the blue container, is a chemical salt with two poisonous materials that when they come together, they make a salt that you can have. But it's not real salt. So you can get real salt like sea salt or you can get salt that's mined in the Himalayan mountains. This is uh, Himalayan pink salt fine. It's fine pink salt. So you have to use fine pink salt because you don't want the, you, you want, it's got to be fine. Got to be the good stuff. Okay. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt. And this is not going to be a level one. This is going to be a little bit like heaping. I'm going to put it all over because you can always add salt but you can't sa take the salt back out. So now I'm going to mix this up and guess what we got? We have tzatziki sauce. 
Ella Navis, come and see. I'm showing you the tzatziki sauce. Why did I put the camera so far? Okay, so now I'm stirring this so the camera can see. And if I'm smart enough, when I take this to my editor in my computer, my Mac, uh, I'll remember to switch back to here. So now I'm going to take out two teaspoons clean. And I'm going to taste. Are you ready? I'm going to taste it. Are you ready? Because I am going to taste this now. And I'm going to see Amanine Kalo if it's good. Okay, that's, that was a Greek word. There's a lot of Greek words. All the words have a root from... Never mind. Oh, wow. That is so good. Okay. I'm glad I didn't put two teaspoons because we're right at the edge of it being just right. So now, all you did was take a container of sour cream, took an English cucumber, you shredded it, you let it drain by putting two big three, two or three big teaspoons of salt in it, pink Himalayan salt, okay, and uh, two or three tablespoons of white vine, wine vinegar. That makes the difference. It gives, this gives it the amazing taste. Then you took your sour cream, you put in a teaspoon of dill, you put in two teaspoons of garlic, you put in one teaspoon of, uh, what is this stuff? What is this stuff? <laughs> okay, you're gonna put two teaspoons of um, the oregano. All right, that's it. We finished in the kitchen. When I clean, I will use uh, my special soap to clean the counter and we're done. So thank you for watching. Thanks guys for watching Peter Gregg in Peter's Kitchen. Bye. Whoosh. You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching. Description of all equipment used in this video plus any notes Peter took while filming are always placed in the description box, show more box, or down arrow thingy next to the title on mobile apps. Duly noted. Opa, we dance now. Opa, we dance now. Opa, we dance now. Oh, the video's over. Uh, if you guys want to support my channel, I have opened up a Patreon channel for people that want to support the channel. I will put a link down below. Now I go and I finish my Greek dancing. Bye-bye. Ciao.